Welcome back, everybody. This is episode four. We're just leaving off right where we left. I've been staring at this a little bit more, and we do need to go back to the eye. We need to still shape around, and I don't want to forget about it before I do other things. So we're just going to go right into the eye, and we're going to start framing the eyeball even more, even though we're going to cover this again, but I want the color to lay up against our cover-up exactly how the cover-up is going to lay. So everything looks more natural, it's easier to blend, makes more sense, and we're gonna start bringing in these points as our boundary. All right, so I'm gonna add more points just to define the actual movement that's happening right here. I need two points. I need one to make this vertical line, and then I need one to go above the eye, and I also need one to go below the eye. This is going to come in like this. All right, so now we did a little repair on that. You can see what we have now. So I'm gonna go to back to the forehead and I don't like how these points are also clustered and they're not really following the trend of the face because like this side is gonna come up to the left and then up and then the middle is gonna start going more centered and then the right is gonna go up, right up. And that's not really what we have here. We kind of have everything going all over the place. So we're going to find where we need to start. So kind of the problem lies, I'd say, on this line right above the eyebrow. So we're going to just start separating things so we can see what's going on. gonna get a little crooked right now but we're gonna fix everything just gonna have to watch it out all right so we're only focusing on this line right here this one that I'm following so we're going see how it follows that band so now we're gonna continue the next line this one, although we're not going to see really color over here with the nose patch, up here we're going to start to see some shading and some color direction. And we need to follow this general trend. So we're going to have to again shift some points over so we can see what we're doing. And this one is going to go like this. It's going to follow this curve. This has got to go up so this one can come in like this. And you could see kind of what we're starting to do. You could see how it's looking a lot cleaner now as we start to go along the lines. So now we're going to take this one and this one's going to follow a trend almost. It's going to wind up finishing about over here. So which, which one is this? This one goes right here so this is needs to be like that and like this
this face. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to make a new third layer. I'm going to paste in place, and then I'm just going to continue working. I'm going to stop the fast forward here. Obviously you can see it's starting to get a little complex, but you can really see how cleaning up the forehead is doing justice right now, as opposed to before, where it was kind of just all smushed and everything was just not following the trends of the forehead. And now we're getting a little bit more general curve from these points. And that's really going to help make this drawing stand out on the forehead. It's going to make the color blend a lot smoother and more realistic when we add it. So right now I'm really just touching everything up. It's really getting, uh, I think I need one more line. Actually this, what is it? This line needs to come up. First of all, that's the first step. So now that we're moving up this line to make it even, we're going to just straighten out the curves that I just messed up. I'm always fixing curves throughout the whole time. You can see these are a little strange, so if I see it, I'm fixing it. I want my color to blend normally. So that's making a little more sense. These, this whole path, all these points need to come down. So I'm gonna actually have to fix all these curves before I start working on them so it doesn't get out of control here because now we're really getting really tight. And all these, you can see with these little lumps, they're all overlapping and they're all shooting in the wrong direction. So these needs to come that way. As you can see, it's a lot of work. Just moving all these points. There needs to be a smooth transition between these points right here. And then these need to rise up. Now these need to go down. Just like that. And then this can go further that way. This is gonna get a nice bend. And we're really getting there, you know, we're really getting there. But I, the, the main problem is I'm gonna have to wind up shifting every single point on the edge 
more to the left so I can move these points more to the left because these points are really supposed to end up like if I start going this way like these lefts are supposed to go over here they're supposed to wind up over here so and I actually think I need I think I need another point We'll see. We'll work on. We'll work from the inside again. We'll see what we need to add. So this is needs to stay on that bend. What's the next bend? I'm trying to figure out where the end of this highlight barrier I've created is. So this is the end right here. So then I would say it starts going down right here. So that means we need to start our forehead right here. Yeah. So we're gonna start shifting everything down. So I shifted that whole part down, so that leaves me room to continue moving everything down. And we'll eventually get to, we'll see why, and if you can visualize, or at least I hope you can visualize why. So I was just playing around with before is that we need, since we have this point right after the eyebrow going to the right, we kind of need right after this highlight, because we need this highlight to be here, right after that highlight to go to the left, in order for the shape to make sense. Gonna give it a quick save. So I'm not too worried about all the points down here. They seem to be pretty, pretty okay. But I do want this ending point to be pushed. All these ending points to be moved down. And we're really trying to keep that consistent top to bottom now. So I'm moving everything to make room for other points because I basically, where I want them to be, is going to overlap everything if I don't shift everything down a little bit. That's what seems to be the case right now. So you're starting to see more of what I'm doing. Really correcting that forehead now. Really shaping the forehead. <laughs> 